Uh, there are going to be a lot of these small little places as we go. I will try to go into them. Uh, the bestiary, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete that. Of course, if they don't put something in front of me for me to kill, I can't really do anything about that. We're going to get all the gold that we can. The tunic and now the shoes that I've picked up have automatically been equipped. Uh, once we have something that I can, you know, compare it to, well... We'll look at that. Now, here's another minor health potion. These are different from the, the health potions that you get that automatically heal you. These you have to use. And I click on that. Automatically gets added here. I can use it with Q. That is how you use the potions in this game. They're instant, unlike Diablo 2, where it was a gradual heal. Um, but there is a cooldown on how often you can use it, so you can't just click it six times in a row. Uh, there is there is a time limit uh, between each usage of the potions. Uh, it looks like that's it for here, so let's go ahead and go back to the road, and we'll continue just zigzagging our way up and through this place. Now, I've kind of danced around the topic a little bit. Those are some ugly-ass watermelons. Uh, this game is pretty controversial some of some of the controversy i feel is deserved uh but a lot of it i feel like it is not there's chaos everywhere and word in town is that like danim killed the king only this is true perhaps our days and nights of living in terror are behind us now ah like danim killed the king do you guys remember Lakdadin? That's the first game. Uh, probably not. Uh, let's look at our inventory. We do have a couple new things here. Uh, I do have a hand axe, and it'll automatically compare it. So this hand axe is better than the one that I have equipped. So I want that on. And then this dagger, of course, is actually better than anything else I have got. Can I? I can. This is honestly what I like to do. I like to go uh, two-handed, two different weapons. That's the kind of barbarian that I am. Uh, like I said, a lot of controversy about this game. Some of it is deserved, some of it's not. I won't be going over every little thing, um, but I'll, I'll try to be as fair to it as I can. I, I like this game. I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil that. I like this game. Traveler's Journal. Exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon the most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. Okay, so we do have a fine hand axe there. That is going to be better than this secondary weapon that I have there. Very nice. Uh... Wretched mother, where did you come from? Ha, <laughs> two blessed hammers and you're gone! And now I have two of the three wretched mothers dead. Should you hang around this stuff too much, they usually spawn. They don't always spawn, but they can. Can I hit this? No, I can't hit that. There's a lot of destroyable objects in this game. They have changed quite a bit from uh, when I first played it. Uh, when I first played it, there were more than just there was more than just gold in the barrels. They have changed that, uh, so now there is just gold in the barrels, and I, I don't like that. I like destroying the barrels, to be honest with you, and, and the stumps and all the destroyable objects. Uh, but now it's just a lot. I don't want to say pointless, but it's it's a lot less meaningful. I wow, that chat is actually starting to bug me a little bit. Because it's rare that somebody ever posts on there, so whenever somebody does, it does catch my attention. The cave under the well. Why is there a cave under the well? Oh, was that was that a wretched mother I saw? She's headed this way. There she is. Go, blessed hammer. <laughs> holy creatures can rest now. Yes, because I killed them. And we have quill fiends. And I have. I am Abdan Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. 
Okay, so quill fiends. Apparently they're very tough. I don't think so. Let's take a look at our skills. We did acquire a new skill. You can see that it's one of our primary skills, and it's actually my favorite of the primary skills. So I will be changing it to cleave. You only generate five fury per attack as opposed to eight with bash, but you can sw you can strike multiple enemies, and that's what I like, especially since I'm a barbarian. And just seems logical to me. Uh, there is a little bit of a cooldown between you changing your abilities. That way you don't keep the skill tab up and change it. They noticed a lot of people were doing that in the beta. Uh, that you would literally, they would literally change uh, what skills they were using based on what enemies were on the screen at that time. And they didn't like that. They didn't like that. So they ended up changing it. So that you, there was at least a little bit of cooldown so that you wouldn't play the game with the skills tab open all the time. It made sense to me, but I know a lot of people did not like that. Give me another health po potion, even though I don't need it. As you can see, Cleave is working better than Bash so far. Usually this place is just full of gold, but you can find chests, chests in these places from time to time. Especially these caves. A lot of gold in these caves. Not much else. But like I said, I do like that I can just run over gold. I don't actually have to, to click on it. Now when it comes to items in this game, there are quite a few different levels of items. Right now, because I have nothing, I'm going to be picking up pretty much anything that drops, and I'll be selling it in town for money so that I can purchase something that's actually worthwhile. But as we keep going, you'll learn that you pretty much only want to pick blue stuff and up, meaning no gray and no white stuff. Uh, there are no runes in this game. What happened to this treasure? Are the fiends hoarding it? They are. And there's an elite in there. I should say, there are no runes in this game when it comes to putting in your equipment. There are runes that go with skills, but that's something completely different and works completely different as well. We have our first elite in there. These guys are notoriously difficult in the higher difficulties. In this difficulty, I don't think so. Uh, we have Sarkoth, Hoarder of Treasure. So difficult. And he drops blue equipment. Blue is magical. That's the way to think about it. Either he dropped it or I opened up out of the chest. I don't really know what. Uh, you don't always have to hit alt. I didn't have to hit because they just spawned, but uh, should you want to check, alt is the way to go. So let's take a look at our inventory because I do have some new stuff here. Cannot equip the bow. I don't have the... Well, it doesn't actually say what I, I would need, but I don't want the bow anyway. Maybe it's just a... Uh, I'm starting to think maybe it's just a... No? Can I put it on? I can't use it. Oh, uh, no! I can't put it on because of my class, so it is a class thing. I, I'm debating between these shoes right now. I think I want to go for the life, uh, regenerating life instead of the, the armor. Three armor isn't that bad right now. Uh, no. This is not good compared to what I have. So, of the two, I, I got shoes. I got one. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can sell the other one, but I won't. Um, I don't know if it's actually to the point in the game where I could uh, normally craft, but I'll probably be crafting anyway. And now I have killed four out of three wretched mothers. That was so difficult. Let's continue on. Reach another ch checkpoint, because we're in the old ruins now. I'll be exploring the old ruins and ruining some more. Diablo himself once walked this place. I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fantasies of both women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens. Has the world gone mad? A little bit. A little bit. This is Tristram from Diablo 1. And here's the Wretched Queen! So, yeah, what do you want me to say? The game is very easy to start. Um, Diablo 2 was similar. I know a lot of people had a little bit harder time to start Diablo 2. I, I didn't. As you might have seen, you know, the first act that we're, This is pretty much the equivalent of the Den of Evil quest. If you died trying to do that, I, I wish you the best of luck trying to beat the game. You know what I mean? Just like if you should die during this, I, I wish you the best of luck trying to beat the game. You can probably do it on the simplest difficulty, but when you get to the higher difficulties, it becomes a lot uh, more difficult, obviously. Now, there's going to be a lot that we can do 
here, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't even have to target things. Oh, he's alive! Hey, new record! Ten monsters killed. I do kind of like that. It gives you bonus experience uh, for destroying objects or killing creatures in quick succession like that. So, you saw I got ten. I think it said it gave me like ten experience. But like I said, I like to explore every little nook and cranny, make sure I don't miss anything. The last thing I want to do is find out that there was something else in here that could have had, you know, a really nice weapon in it. And consider, trust me, weapons are what I want to go for as a barbarian. I'm not too concerned with defense. I'm more concerned with offense as a barbarian. And you will see why later. I still am planning to be a full-on tank, but... Uh, I, I want to be an offensive berserker style tank and we'll see why. Here we find our first waypoint. Waypoints in this game work just like Diablo 2 except there's a hell of a lot more of them and there's no loading. You just automatically warp there. I guess that could be considered loading that little lag but that is it. Okay now this waypoint is active that's what this was for before, but we couldn't use it. Let's talk to Rumford. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Deckard is awesome. And I have completed a quest. I get quite a bit of experience, quite a bit of money. And now I can talk to Leah. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Adria's hut. I haven't heard the name Adria since the first game. We are going over some stuff that we haven't heard in a while. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to to use this guy should I have just started the game. So I'm going to not use him yet. Yeah, I don't really care. You should take a look. How do I have this much gold? Did this uh, does everything carry over? What the hell's going on here? Okay, so right click to sell. That's what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, I I don't get very much money out of this because I do have s a suspicious uh, amount of money here. I'm not going to be purchasing anything from him. I don't want to play this as if I'm playing it. Like, uh, I don't know, too high level of a character. Yeah, we'll sell that. Sell that. Sell. 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 So it gets to the point pretty soon. Obviously, I don't need money, so I'm not going to be picking up gray or white items anymore. I'm also not going to be purchasing anything from him. Uh, I could repair things, but you only need to repair things from what I remember when you die. Otherwise, it never really goes away. So I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm not going to be buying anything. <laughs> God. Apparently my money did carry over. I don't like that. I, I'm starting a new character, damn it. I'm starting a new character. Okay, waypoint. Old ruins again. Here, let me open the gate. Yeah, she's no longer following you. Now she's following me. She had to open up the gate. So we need to go find... My mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? Way. I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. So... I don't think that Deckard and Adria are supposed to be brother and sister. So I have to assume that she means that they are... That her... That her father was Deckard's brother? Maybe uncle is just a nickname. But I'm pretty sure Adria and Deckard weren't related. This is this is the part where it doesn't really look like Tristram did in the first game anymore. This is a little different. Uh, it's sort of forgivable if you ask me. Uh, it's still pretty close to the original Tristram, so I'll I'll give him that. So let's head inside. A hidden cellar. Follow me. Not quite. I wanted to check him for something and him. Okay, now let's go into the hidden cellar. Your mother had her secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Her name was Adria the Witch. Well, it's hard to believe. You should talk to people that played the first game, seriously. Captain Dalton! What? 
Captain Dalton! Hammer, hammer. Oh, don't have enough. Oh, damn it, he froze me. Doesn't matter. Hammer. Even in Diablo 3, I use hammers. I won't be using that forever, though. I guarantee you that there is. There is something better. Okay, anything in the cauldron? Minor health po potion. Very nice. Anything in the chest? Buckler. Nothing I can use, really, though. Anything over here? No. Leo, it's up. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. So, we're introduced to this new character. His name is Aiden. Um, I don't want to spoil too much uh, of any of the previous games, but Aiden is now who they have named to replace us in Diablo 1. Uh, for players that did beat Diablo 1, when you get to Diablo 3, you find out that there's this guy named Aiden that did all the work, not you. We got another level up and therefore another skill. Uh, this time we get something that goes into our action bar. We have four things in our action bar. Uh, the way that it's set up, you have defensive, might, tactics, and rage. Or at least I do because I'm a barbarian. These don't. These categories typically will mean that you can only have a defensive skill in number one. Uh, there is a there is a setting in gameplay that you can change so that that doesn't work. I'll go over that when we get there. So I can do ground stomp. I actually do like ground stomp. Definitely more than leap or sprint or ignore. Actually, ignore pain's pretty damn good. But ground stomp for a while will will hold me. So ground stomp it is. It costs 15 fury. It has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Very nice, Leah. Anything more to say about this? Who the hell's this Aiden guy? I did everything. Oh, I can talk to her about all this stuff. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. That is true. I don't know what really happened here. But whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to talk about this game without talking about the previous two games or spoiling them, but, I mean, it is Diablo. You have to kill Diablo in all three games. That's just the way that it has to work, damn it. We'll go over whether or not we actually did that in any of the games as we continue, though. How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Right. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. So that's what she has to say. I, I won't be listening to all the characters. There are multiple characters that want to talk about every little thing in, in the game. Uh, I won't be talking to all of them, but Leah is important. I mean, well, more or less, outside of us, the, the main NPC in the game. Of course, we're not an NPC, but you know what I mean. She is the main NPC so far. She is. She was in the cutscene. She's got to be important. Die. Nobody had anything? And of course, as soon as I said that I didn't want to pick up the white or gray items anymore, I went ahead and picked them up anyway. I will try to stop that. Especially uh, since I have so much money. Back on the old Tristram Road. We need to. You can see the arrow here pointing where we need to go. That, of course, is much appreciated. Can I do anything with these? They look like gravestones. No. Into the mass grave it is. Surely there will be nothing bad in here. Oh, what do you know? There's dead bodies, just like you might expect. Cloth pants. I do need cloth pants. Oh, he's still hitting me because he's on the ground. What he left over here? Um, the tunic I might actually need. No, the tunic is crap. The leggings are on. They look. They do not look comfortable. Uh, no, I don't need those. 
Anything else? Now let's get out of here.